Alright, in this video I'm going to do an example of solving a dependent system. And we're going to use elimination by addition. So here it says solve, uh, the, it says if the system is dependent, let z equal c and write the solution in terms of c. We've got x plus 2y plus z equals 0, 3x plus 2y minus z equals 4, negative x plus 2y plus 3z equals negative 4. Um, normally when you do the elimination by addition, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the system is dependent. Um, so, so we're going to kind of work it all the way out. And just in this case, since we want to write um, our solution in a sense in terms of uh, z, where z equals this constant, I am going to eliminate a variable, either the x or the y. I want to kind of keep an equation that involves z. I just think that's probably the most efficient way to do it. You don't have to do it. Eventually, you'll, you'll have to get an equation that involves z and only one other variable. Um, but just to make things efficient, that's what I'm going to do at the beginning. So I'm going to try to eliminate... I'm going to eliminate either x or y, again, since we want it in terms of z. All right, well, I don't know. To me, you know, eliminating x doesn't look that terribly miserable. Uh, eliminating the y's also don't look too terribly miserable. I think I'm going to pick on the y's. Um, so we've got x plus 2y plus z equals 0. My second equation, we've got 3x plus 2y minus z equals 4. Well, to get the y's to cancel out, I just need one of these to be negative. So I don't know. Uh, I'll just take my first equation and multiply both sides by negative 1. And if we do that, um, our first equation will have negative 1x minus 2y minus z. Well, 0 times negative 1 is still 0. I'm going to leave my uh, second equation just like it was. And again, if we do our elimination by addition, let's see, negative x plus 3x would give us a positive uh, 2x. The y's would cancel out. We would have negative z plus negative z, which would be negative 2z. 0 plus 4 is 4. So we've got this equation now involving only x and z. And again, if you, if you wanted to, you could even divide both sides by 2 to make the numbers a little, a little smaller, but you don't have to. I think what I'm going to do next is take the uh, first equation and the third equation. And again, uh, in this case, since we're eliminating y, that's going to be, be the uh, variable I'm going to, again, eliminate. So let me just copy them down. Again, obviously, you could do some of this arithmetic as you go, maybe be a little more efficient. These problems can get a little long. Um, but I would rather go a touch slower and really try to write out all the steps. So, you know, and this is, I think, really kind of a good point on these problems. It's easy to make an arithmetic mistake, and then everything's kind of haywire. So, you know, sometimes it's good just to take, a, I think, a few extra steps and hopefully make sure you, you do it right the first time. So, anyways, okay, so again, I want to eliminate the y's. Well, I would like one of these to be negative, so... I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the first one, which is just multiply the first equation by negative 1. So that'll give us negative x minus 2y minus z equals 0. We've got our, our second equation that we'll leave alone, negative x plus 2y plus 3z equals negative 4. And again, if we do our elimination, we've got negative x minus x, which is negative 2x. Notice the y's will cancel out. Uh, we've got negative z plus 3z, which is going to be positive 2z, equals negative 4. So again, I kind of said at the beginning, hey, this is going to be dependent. But suppose we didn't recognize that, or, or, or uh, maybe you just don't believe me. Um, again, the idea is now that we've uh, eliminated uh, one of the variables, we've got two different equations. So at this point, we would just try to go from having two variables, we would do our elimination by addition and try to get it down to just a single variable. Okay, so I'm using my equation 2x minus z equals 4, that's our top one. This other equation we figured out, negative 2x plus z equals negative 4. But again, now everything's kind of set up nicely. If I do my elimination by addition, we would get 0x, 0z, we would have 0 on the left. 4 plus negative 4 is 0. And again, this is telling me at this point that we have a dependent, a dependent system. 
And if that means there's infinitely many solutions. Okay, so now the question kind of is, well, how do we, you know, how do we, how do we express the solution? Well, typically what you'll do is you'll just let one of the variables, we'll just say, suppose that variable, you know, suppose we pick some constant, and in this case we're letting z equal some constant c. Now we're just going to go back to our equations and figure out what the other variables uh, would be in terms of c as well. So what do I mean there? Well, again, we had these two equations, 2x minus 2z equals 4, and negative 2x plus 2z equals negative 4. Just use one of those. I'm going to use the first one. Okay, so we have 2x, we had 2x minus 2z equals 4. Well, if we let z equal this constant c, we would have 2x minus 2 times c equals 4. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to take this equation and solve for x. So I can add 2c to both sides. That would give me 4 plus 2c. And then to solve for x, I would divide by 2, divide by 2. I would get x equals, again, we can break up this fraction as 4 over 2, which would be 2, plus 2c over 2, which would just give us 1c. So now I've got my solution for x in terms of this constant. Well, now we just have to do this one more time and, and solve for y. So let's see, I'll take this very first equation. Again, one of your original ones that involve x, y, and z. Doesn't matter which one you use. So we had x plus 2y plus z equals 0. We know what x is. Um, we said x was 2 plus c. We just figured that out. Plus 2y. Again, we said z. We're just letting that equal this constant, c. And again, now I have to get a y all by itself. So you can just remove the parentheses. We would have 2 plus c plus another c, which would be, well, 2c equals, uh, or excuse me, plus 2y still equals 0. I'm going to get the 2y by itself on the left side by subtracting 2 and also subtracting the 2c. And again, if I divide both sides by 2, Negative 2 over 2 is negative 1. Um, negative 2c divided by 2 would be negative 1c. And now we've got our, our, our solution. We can now write this. We can now write this. Um, we can say our solution. Well, x we figured out would be the value 2 plus c y we said would be negative 1 minus c and then we said z we're just letting that equal c okay so again this now says we have infinitely many solutions and the idea is if you wanted to figure out some um, particular solutions okay so again we said there's infinitely many well what what give me some exact uh, solutions well, all you have to do is just start plugging in values for c. So, for example, if I let c equal 0, our uh, y value would just work out to be negative 1, and our x value would just work out to be 2. So you can go back to your very, very, very original system of equations that we started with, uh, plug in 2 for x, negative 1 for y, and z equals 0, and you would find that that's actually a solution to this original system of equations. Um, likewise, again, you know, pick your favorite value for c. Maybe we let c equal 1. Well, then we would get negative 1 minus 1, which would give us negative 2. We would get 2 plus 1, which would be 3. That would be another solution to our system of equations. Go back to the very original problem, plug in x equals 3, y equals negative 2, z equals 1, you'll get another solution. You know, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, I could, I could, I could pick a weird number. Maybe I let c equal the number pi. Well, then y would be negative one minus pi, and then x would have to equal two plus pi. So, again, this is the idea. Uh, just pick your favorite number for c, and then you can backtrack and figure out the value that would go with y, and then you could also figure out the value that goes with x.